Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here for some more Marvel Snap in time. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, thankfully, I was able to finally get Darkhawk, as you can see from here. He's the dude I had pinned for an extremely long time. And this is the Darkhawk deck. Basically, Rock U, this is the Zabu deck, uh, according to many people. This is Zabu's best deck, basically, but here's the idea behind it. Uh, Darkhawk is a card that says plus two power for each card in your opponent's deck. And now we have just a bunch of cards that either A, prevent your opponent from drawing from the deck, B, add useless rocks, a lot of rocks, and also we have Zabu, who drops four costs down to two costs, which means Wong will become a, um, two costs, which you can then double up with Rock Slide. And then you could also just go crazy with Moon Girl. And then we also have Spider-Man and Shang-Chi there for some extra bit damage. You would want to probably use Absorbing Man, but I don't have Absorbing Man. So I'm going to be using White Queen because she can be used with Shuri. And that will give me a 12 on the board. And American Chavez is here because uh, Chavez makes it so <laughs> you know what you're going to draw for the next couple turns or so. So there we go. That's going to be the games. And I called this deck Rock You. I don't know its official name. But, I'm just gonna say, Rock U seems pretty, pretty, uh, succinct. So let's go in. There's a new featured location called the Rickety Bridge, but based off of the last time I tried playing when there was a featured place, it never showed up, so who cares. But basically, if that one shows up, then both of our dudes will be dead, and that's fine with me. I only need, really need to win two lanes. And I can always Spider-Man and save the day in that way. Okay, let's see. Okay, starting ahead. Not the greatest, but not the worst. That makes it significantly. Okay, thank you for hitting Shing Chi and not Black Widow. I would have been very annoyed if it was, uh. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have to risk it for the biscuit here. I want Black Widow. Mm, the good thing is, is that we actually have. Oh. I'm gonna so totally lose Jotunheim, but I'm gonna go for the Quark play, I think. Should I go for the Quark play? I think I'll wait. So he doesn't. Ah, actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put two rocks in the deck. Let's go. Oh, he got me there. Fair enough. I didn't put anything there. Have a rock. Have multiple rocks. Just nothing but rocks. I hear the rocks are very popular with the kids these days. Oh, sure. Down goes Gorg. Ooh. Hmm. So I could go here. But that just okay. Uh, I think I'll go here. Unfortunately, I'm not drawing Zabu. So, if you don't draw Zabu, your best bet here is to... Ooh, there's Zabu. <laughs> Unfortunately, a little bit too late. Oh, I forgot the Spider-Man. That's alright. Let's see. Hmm. Could go as Shang-Chi. So I'm winning over there, which is nice. I'm not going to be able to win over there, which sucks. I forgot I was supposed to Spider-Man, so if I go Cosmo here, then Zabu. Here's my question. Does he think I'm going to go for Jotunheim? Is five enough? No. But based on this guy's deck, what could he be having? Oh, uh, you know what? It's probably going to be Silver Surfer and I lose. But let's go with it. Yeah, well, it was Surfer regardless, but... Damn, wasn't able to activate it in time. But it's fine. I didn't draw Zabu, which means that... Unfortunately, the main thing with Zabu is that if you don't draw Zabu, you may as well just kind of give up. <laughs> There's no way for you to win, really. It's the one negative about a Zabu deck. But usually, if you play Zabu, you gotta win. You start winning like crazy. But just to prove that I was right on there, I just figured I'd play it. Surprised he didn't snap. But I also would have ran away if he snapped, so. Alright, there we go. There's the man of the deck. 
Now, if we can just draw Zabu, that would be amazing. Ooh. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But let's go. It's basically doing my job for me. This is a fucking Galactus deck. I'd never trust any deck that has Wolverine in it. Ooh. Let's go here. There's one way to find out if he has Galactus. There's Carnage. Yeah. Alright. Maybe he's not. Maybe just generic, uh, destroy. But let's find out. If I can draw a Zabu, that'd be amazing. But I have a deep feeling in my gut it's not gonna happen again. Why did he put it in Warrior Falls? Let's find out what he has. He's high as his Deathlock. Really? Let's see if I go here. That means he doesn't have... He doesn't have it yet. If I go here... This might be the silliest thing imaginable. This is a lot of... For a 4, it's maybe not worth it. But I think that's the only play I really got. go with it. Yeah, I don't have to worry about death over there. I'm not fighting for it. Okay. So, we go here. Then here? I guess kind of depends on where he's going to go. want to go. Mm, let me see. How many cards in your deck? Ten. So that would be ten... That'd make me 11. Not enough to win Warrior Falls. So I'm gonna have to hope that he misplays. He misplayed? <laughs> no, wait. Dang. I'm bad at math. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. That was so insanely close. Oh, man. Zabu, where the hell are you, man? Again, the smartest thing to do is... The deck is good. The smart thing to do if you just don't draw Zabu and you're looking like you're going to lose, you got to run away. You can't go messing with run. You can't go uh, leaving your luck to chance, basically. Ooh, speaking of Zabu, look who's on the board. Okay. I Do I want to save this? No, I don't. Go. Go ahead. Kill Korg. I don't care. I, I slightly care more now. Oh, actually, this has potential to be very good. Okay. I'm gonna play him here. Because... Oh, damn. Do I risk it now? I'm gonna go for the snap right here. I hate snapping so early, but... I think I have to snap early. Because the cloning vats is about to go insane. Ah. Nice try. Mm, let me see if I go. Moon Girl here. And then Black Widow here. So they both die. And then he can't draw. That way I'll have... Okay. Yes. That works. Assemble. Here we go. So the only bad thing here is I'm not adding uh, two cards. But it's fine. He's about to get 12 power. He's about to go insanely big.
and then I add a, tw a 12 power rock slide to my hand, and then I can just Shuri again. Really? I'm just gonna play a unit there, and that way, ah. It's funny that you show up here. Uh, I think I'll go Shuri, and then I'll go here. Actually, no. Shuri, go. If he has leader, that's very unfortunate, but I don't think he has leader. I also did that in the completely wrong order. <laughs> no, okay, I did it in the right order. Interesting. So, he does know that as long as I play a card here, he can't win. Right? Because I'm going to win by pure power. Oh, well, let's see what he does. He ain't beating me, though. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to retreat. Because Rickety Bridge, I was always getting. He was never going to have anything there. Smart. Even with me doing some slight screw ups, it ended up working out perfectly fine. Ooh, some mission complete. Let's go. Win matches with a snap. Those are always the hardest for me. Because I'm extremely timid when it comes to snapping. Alright, let's go again. Mmm, boo ba doo ba doo ba doo. Add random card. Please be a one drop. Ah, <sighs> Baron Mordo. I want my opponent not drawing. Get out of here. Stupid Baron. Uh, it's unfortunate that Black Widow's gonna. Hmm. Ooh. So this is about to go very mean. Because I'm gonna be able to get that. That's cool. But then more importantly, oh, I could have had. I I had potential for greatness. I have to start getting rid of some of these cards from my hand. So I'll go here. Then I'll go here. This way he'll be able to... Please don't be Cosmo. Oh, thank god. It's probably an Onslaught deck, though. You can't draw. You don't draw. Okay, let's see. Oh so close to perfect. Double Spider-Man is basically game in two spots. I'm gonna assume this guy is... Is he Galactus? I'm so afraid. I got jump scared by Galactus too many times and now I assume most dudes are just running Galactus. Yeah, this is Galactus. Hmm. Let's snap right here. And then we'll prepare for the next turn. I think we win regardless, but just to be sure. Double Spider-Man is so crazy. This is why Absorbing Man is also kind of used for the deck, because Absorbing Man is a 4 cost. And you can just borrow Spider-Man. Spider Such a mean tactic. I have to be careful of uh, leader as well. Ooh, we still got that spot though. It's a good thing I'm not giving up that spot really. Yeah, the angel. Oh, that makes it so much easier for me. Okay. So, go here. He's going first. So, he'll probably copy, but he won't be able to copy the attack power, because that comes after. So even if he tries to lead her, it's not going to work out.
He really thought he had me? <laughs> what, what is... What is this? <laughs> Did you think that was some kind of amazing fucking victory? I knew what you had in your hand, guy. <laughs> Damn. Beaten up completely. <laughs> what was that? Unbelievable. Some of the balls on some dudes, man. He really thought he fucking had it with Claw. It's like, oh man, you're about to get totally cooked. Nah, man. There's no way. No way I was losing that. Out of your mind. Get out of here. And with that, another one of these done. Ooh. Click, click. And I may as well open some stuff up here while I'm here now. Technically not Tarzan. Let's go. Uh, let's see. How many do I have to do? Let's see. Upgrade a card. Okay, so let me upgrade some cards, and then we'll call it a video, huh? But yeah, that's the deck. I think it's really good. Um... Obviously, if you don't draw Zabu, then you have to be very smart about how you're playing, because you'll likely lose. Um, I forget, how does this count? Does it count upwards of... Uh, I guess there's only really one way to check, isn't there? That's actually doing one of these. Which one of my dudes should I do it on? This is always the hardest part. Hmm... I can awaken the Shang-Chi. You know what? Let me go Sunspot. Because it's only cost 100. I need to check if that's 2. I don't. I never remember if it is. Okay, I get plus 2 there. Upgrade a card. Okay, so no. I want to make sure I do it the cheapest possible. Because I'm saving currently. So I'm going to go Darkhawk. Try not to do too many of the big ones at once. Mm, Darkhawk. Uh, but yeah, but you have to be very smart, and sometimes it's hard for me to be. Because I'm not the smartest. I'm not the brightest. Iceman. There we go. But it has a lot of good win conditions, as you can see there. Like, Zabu, Zabu is honestly really freaking crazy good. The only thing holding him back is, if you don't draw him, the deck really doesn't do as well. <laughs> An entire deck built around him. It's a little bit different from, like, Silver Surfer, where if you don't draw a Surfer, you can still, in theory, win with three costs. But Zabu is, and you can draw uh, Silver Surfer as your last card, and you can still, like, do fine and win. But it's really tough to do that if you're, um... If you're, uh, what are the words? May as well do this for this Psylocke one. I'm not a ch cheap low rent one, so I'm gonna start doing a little bit more of these. Um, I completely forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, trying to find the cheapest ones that I can do it on. Because, like I said, I'm saving at this moment. That's a smart thing to do. Waiting for the series stuff to drop so I can get Absorbing Man when he turn goes into pool 3. That'll be my best chance of getting him. Alright, I can do it a couple more times. Two more times, it looks like. Just need to find two. There we go. Try and find one for dudes that I haven't done it before, but sometimes it's just really tough looking at it. Okay, that should allow me to do one more, actually. What was in here? 300 credits, never mind. I can just finish this off now. Six more times? I can do that. No troubles. Mmm, there we go. Collect that. Iceman goes up to 3D. Doop, doop, doop. But yeah, you're kind of out of luck if you have nothing in your hand but four cost cards and the guy who's supposed to lower their costs shows up at the last turn. Especially with American Chavez, like... If you do, <laughs> if it gets to turn six, then uh, you're drawing Chavez, and you're not really having any much of a chance of anything, really. Hmm. I'll also go Warlock. It's not my favorite Warlock, but I'll go for Warlock on this one. It's one of the ones that they gave me, of course. Tale as old as time, giving me a variant for a card I don't use. Let's go. Talk about a card I do use. Never gotten an Iron Man one somehow. I never bought one, and I've never been able to pull one. Maybe right here? Nope. You know, I just realized I could have just saved that. I didn't have to open the boxes. 
Well, how many more do I need? <laughs> Two more? Okay. Well, I found, I just realized that Squirrel Girl's here. Is there another one who's maybe a uh, low cost silver that I, I, that I was missing? There you go. Maybe if I go, you can't filter by rarity, really? Oh my God. Clear filters, finish. Uh, kind of a shame, but it's fine. I'll finish it off later. That's it for this video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be. Till next time, everyone. Bye-bye.